to the next segment of the uh, Big Bang Theory of the BTS vlog. This is the beginning of uh, the next day's vlog. So, uh, let me give a time and date stamp. It is uh, 7 hours and 29 minutes into the day of Thursday, October 13th, 2016. We are having a successful go at uh, doing a daily vlog. Uh, there will be a sort of a bit of a backlog to sort of get out. Uh, it's simply due to the, due to the fact that uh, 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 I'm not going to be editing this stuff and uploading it until I get back to Toronto. I just don't have enough data uh, 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 over the uh, over here to do that. So um, the uh, Bahamas they have <sighs> they have these data caps, and then of course they charge you as soon as you go off these data caps and Right now, I'm trying to be a bit conservative. I want to see how things work, doing the bare minimum amount of work. It's sort of so. It's actually working out pretty well. I haven't gotten to the bare minimum, anyways, in terms of having a regular day schedule up here. Uh, because there's been a lot of outdoor activities. There's a lot of uh, things to do outside. I said, uh, we went, I said, I worked on the septic system yesterday, worked on the water system, did some of the plumbing issues. Uh, so these are the things that sort of work, went, uh, went on. Uh, these were outdoor work. Uh, and I will start filming more of this stuff. It's just that uh, it it does take a while to sort of uh, get your bearings, sort of figure out what you're going to do. And so I don't actually film when I'm trying to figure something out. And so basically the trailer is something new. I'm still learning it. Uh, once I get a better feel for the trailer and for where it is and how to hook up all the different services. Uh, in other words, with Bahamas, the, even the facilities here... Uh, because most of the people are elderly in terms of uh, the ones who are taking care of them, they, they're capable, they're very capable of doing things. But what happens is they miss out on certain things. And so uh, certain repairs have to be done that they can't do and they sort of leave it go because they're all right because this is the village, the type of villages they came from. So otherwise, the, the, these people came from very rough villages uh, in the Greek, mount, mountains of Greece. Uh, so they're, they're used to living rough, and so the environment itself is kind of a rough environment. Even though they fixed it up, uh, it's still kind of a rough environment. It doesn't have everything you would think in terms of amenities uh, for these people. The, what we consider to be the proper amenities is not what the uh, uh, people from these uh, Greek villages feel are the proper amenities. And that is, again, it's what you're used to, it's what they grew up with. And... So there are things that uh, uh, are missing that has to be sort of worked on and fixed up a little bit. It's, it's minor stuff here and there, but it's still, it does take time. And this is what, you know, so yesterday I spent most of my day looking at that stuff. We're uh, doing some reviews uh, in terms of what has to be done. And uh, I've redesigned one of the one part of the water system that's going to be, I haven't finished it yet. I've done the redesign in terms of laying out what needs to be done. Now, I'm going to be coming back again, actually, uh, uh, next weekend. Uh, basically, uh, well, this weekend's coming. The, the, this weekend is going to be the, uh, let's see here. This weekend's going to be this weekend will be the uh, 15th of October. The weekend after would be the 22nd, so I'm planning to come back up on the 22nd. Wasn't going to do that, but uh, the way things are working out, I am planning to come back up here to do some more work on uh, that weekend. So there will be a second weekend up here 
and uh, see how to get things done a little bit more. We'll probably work on the uh, water system to finish up the designs for the water system. At that point in time, I don't will I'll be able to get to the septic system uh, today or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow because uh, it's raining out, and we'll see when the rain clears and uh, if we have uh, the opportunity to actually do anything outside because uh, it's going to be uh, uh, raining on and off all day today. So. Uh, <laughs> And I'll post that when I get up again. Right now, I said this is the, you know I got up at, f at five thirty. I got up at five thirty. It's now seven thirty. Been up for about two hours. I'm gonna go back to bed again for another couple hours, and, and uh, then I'll get up and start the rest of my day. So that's kind of how I sleep. You know, you, just, you do a bit of sleeping. You get up. You take a bit of a break. Have something to eat. Have something to drink. Uh, do some work, and then go back to bed again and finish up your sleeping and. But, uh, yeah, the, the day's been going pretty well. Uh, let me see here. We're at five minutes. i got to see the, <laughs> see how much time we have in here uh, to know that... Uh, uh, so I know how much we need to film, how much how, how far we've gone. And so that's kind of the whole bit here is that uh, uh, during the daily vlog, I have to know what each segment is and keep it under uh, 30 minutes for all the segments together. So... Um, I think six minutes will be good. Seven minutes. That's not bad. And then that will, I'll have to adjust f through the rest of it. So if I do, let's say I do three eight-minute segments, right? That's 24 minutes. That's uh, sufficient. So it's not exactly 30 minutes, but uh, as long as it's with, after the 20-minute mark, I think that's pretty good. Um, but it, you know, these are things that we're sort of having to have to sort of work out and sort of uh, 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 see how they work. And this is kind of you know, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if, if Clint has showed us uh, Clint's TV. Clintus from, from uh, Clintus TV has showed us this trailer, but he hasn't shown us uh, uh, some of the inner working, some of the... Uh, he vlogs, he's out, out the, outside of the trailer more often than that. I'm in my trailer more often than that, so... Uh, bit by bit, as uh, uh, the day goes, the, the time goes on and things are set up more, uh, I will film more, I'll get sort of uh, uh, more images outside. I was supposed to film yes outside yesterday, so the, the, but the workload was such that uh, outside what I had to do was such that um, I just wasn't able to get to doing some filming outside. So hopefully I'll get to do that maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, we'll sort of see what ends up happening. Anyways, uh, I gotta just finish this up here and then um, head back to bed again. <laughs> I think this is gonna need a little bit more charging. Well, we'll see what had to happen for the rest of it. So, anyways. I'm going to leave this here for now, and we're at uh, just about seven minutes, so that's pretty good. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Well, we're back again for the uh, next segment uh, in our uh, quest to do a daily vlog here on uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you a time and date stamp. Just finishing one segment of work, so uh, I'm going to go rest a little bit and... It is 13 hours and 39 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, October 13th, 2016. So that's our time and date stamp. So uh, this is our uh, vlog entry for uh, our journeys. <laughs> our journey. Uh, journeys, if we did, well, I did do multiple journeys. Let's say we do multiple journeys here. <laughs> multiple journeys. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, it's kind of a gray, glum day. Uh, it's not, uh, uh, not sunny at all, but uh, I did some more work on the heating system in, in, in the, in the tra trailer here. Uh, there's a lot to learn. There's a, there's a lot to learn to get, to get used to the trailer and, and understand what's what and how things work. And... Uh, uh, then you reschedule certain maintenance things and sort of because as you, as you learn more, uh, you understand more. You sort of, you sort of uh, okay, let's let that go for now and do this work here first. It'll make you know uh, it, it provides a better uh, avenue to achieve things than if you would if you had it uh, 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 use your initial method that you well, well you know that you thought would be good at the time. So in other words, you initially devise a method to do something. A way of doing something, an algorithm, uh, from the computer perspective, and it the you assume that this is the best path forward, until something else or uh, particularly particularly new information 
about what you're working on comes to light. And then once you do have that new information, uh, you can then uh, backtrack and say, okay, well, yeah, okay, I initially had thought this would be the best way of doing something, but now, given the new information, uh, this is the best path forward. You know, you change your path according, towards, according to the information that you have. Uh, in, in the beginning part, before you've really experienced something, you have no information, you just have, maybe have a cursory overview, so you make your your uh, plans based on that. As you step in and have some experience, the experience changes your perspective because it gives you new information. And then you change your, your methodology from there on out. I mean, this is, in many ways, it's, it's a lot like uh, like experimentation. It's a lot like uh, uh, exploration, the stuff I do on a regular basis. So uh, the same process, you know, you as you gain experience, you change your methodology, you change your perspective. And this gives you new under a new understanding. As this new understanding comes along, that gives you a change, a, a chance to uh, uh, to adjust and and further improve your methodologies as you move forward. So, same process, same uh, uh, way of thinking. Case here is that uh, understanding how the propane system works in an RV. And uh, I finally did get a better understanding of it today, so I finally got, just actually about a half hour ago, 45 minutes ago, uh, I got the heat working properly. So I now know for sure that the heat is working properly. I checked the propane system. Everything's working properly on the propane system. And the thing is, is that I went to check the manual. I, I have the manual f uh, uh, from the, uh, from the uh, manufacturer, Coachman. They, 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 this is the, one, the company that manufactured the trailer. I had the manual. But a large chunk of the stuff isn't properly laid out. And so that's what I want to do. I'll probably end up doing a couple of videos on the RV here. Because uh, there's information that I found from a variety of different channels about the propane system and how best to, to use the propane system. So I had the initial propane system hooked up. But, you know, it wasn't a complex thing to do to hook up the propane system. But it wasn't working properly. So they were, I found there were issues with it. So finally today, after I sat down and reread and uh, rewatched some of the videos on the um, on the propane system, I got a better understanding of it, and um, now everything is working fine. That is it. The heat just about forty five minutes, forty five minutes ago to an hour ago, uh, uh, the heat was work now working properly, and I understand the system a lot better than I did when I came on Monday. So just in a few days, it's, it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And now it's you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So because uh, today is now Thursday, so four days later, I have a new experience, a new understanding of the propane system in the RV, and that allows me to sort of get a better understanding. Okay, what I need to do for the next time I come up here, probably, probably sometime next week, and I understand I have to get a third propane tank because I realized that with my system and another other another of other systems that you have to have always have to have two propane tanks attached because if one propane tank is not attached the chances of a leak coming out of the automatic valve uh, is greater so uh, both tanks tanks need to be attached so I have to go find a third RV tank a third uh, 30 pound uh, propane tank so that when the way the, the exchange would work is I would shut the entire system off uh, when one tank is empty, shut the entire system off, and just swap out tanks. You know, pull the uh, empty tank out, put the new, uh, put, put the full tank in, go fill up the the the, uh, the empty tank, and you continue that process as necessary. So, um, that's kind of you know that learning experience here. I might need a fourth tank. I'm not too sure, depending on how much it's how much actually how quickly it goes that's what I mean. I'm gonna be leaving the system on even though I'm not here for uh, for about a week or so uh, so I'm leaving tomorrow on Friday going back to Toronto back going back to the main facilities and I won't be back up until uh, Wednesday Thursday and I'm leaving the system on I want to see how much propane is used to heat the trailer uh, in other words uh, I'm gonna sort of experiment around and uh, try to find out what the actual drain rate is on the uh, on the propane system, and so it gives me an understanding of uh, okay, I've got two propane tanks on there, right? How long does it take to drain? How much is actually used? 
uh, in, let's say, a span of a week of over, over seven days. If you can get that ba uh, basic understanding, you can then move forward and say, okay, uh, I need X amount of propane for X number of weeks, or, or y, for, for Y number of weeks. And this is gives, you, gives you a sort of a fill-up rate of, of what you actually have to do, and if you understand the you know the cost of the propane, you can just now start budgeting out what you need in terms for the propane for gas to heat. Let's say you're going to go through the entire winter, you want you need the place to be properly heated. Uh, how does it actually work out? Does it does the thing stay good? Does it not stay good? This is sort of uh, the situation that has to be sort of uh, worked out, and uh, so that's what I'm working on now. Uh, so now that I've got the propane system the properly working, the, the furnace is properly working, uh, the next step is to see how much propane is, is used, that gets used within about a week or so. So, and as I, you, this is what YouTube is, YouTube comes in very handy for a lot of these different things where uh, you might want to do this and you might want to do that. Uh, there's always people out there, and it's not just one video, you look at a lot of different videos and see how each people, each person has, you see their experience with uh, whatever you're taking a look at. And it gives, okay, that's one example, this is another example. And sometimes you take take from more than one example, okay, I'll take this, I like that here, I like this here. And you put together something that may not be exactly the same as from one video to, to the other, but rather a combination of things. So, And that's kind of what I did, I had looked at a number of videos. When I saw a number of videos, I said, okay, yeah, okay, this is what it is. Uh, I was able to put together something that was a, sort of a hybrid of what I had seen on YouTube. So, uh, that's, yeah, this, this is, again, this is part of the experience. This is part of, uh, of uh, being out here and being uh, uh, in uh, Mars Alpha. This, so this, the trailer is now called Mars Alpha. This is my re second research station. So, uh, yeah, is it something I really liked very well. Very, things went end up, ended up going very well. So, I'm happy with it. So, I'm going to take a, maybe a couple hours worth of sleep, a couple hour nap. Uh, sort of, that's how I do my days off. It's just that uh, in between uh, the uh, different work that I do here, uh, just sort of uh, you, t you lie down, take a nap, rest your body, and then get up and start doing this, do the next uh, chunk of work. Go lie down, take a nap, get up, you know, bit by bit. So, anyways, uh, I'll talk to you when I get back, and uh, see you in the next segment. Alrighty, take it easy. Well, we're back in our usual spot again, and uh, hopefully this will focus better. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't focus right, sometimes it's alright. Eh, it seems to be okay. <laughs> eh. Yeah, let me give you a time and date stamp, or more of a time stamp. It's uh, still uh, still uh, Thursday, October thirteenth, two thousand sixteen. It's nineteen hours and twenty minutes into the day. Now, I've been tired throughout the day, so I'm still tired now. It's this is what I call my oscillating days, and I think the oscillating days are going to continue. On until Friday, uh, it just this this is what happens when uh, you get to a certain point of fatigue and uh, and when you can't if you can't let your mind go then um, uh, it keeps you up so you you're asleep for a bit and then your mind thinks of something as you wake up and uh, you have to get up and do it and it's kind of or, or or write about it or whatever it is that pops into your mind. Well, you know, it pops into your mind. So that's kind of the situation here is that you're seeing what I call the oscillating days where there isn't a, a specific uh, sleep pattern. You're not sleeping a full eight hours. You're sleeping maybe uh, three to four hours at a time. You get up, you do something, and then you go back to bed again. And it's, it, in many ways, it's a precursor to a crash. I'm probably going to end up crashing uh, tomorrow when I get home. Uh, back to my uh, uh, main office because uh, this is quickly becoming home uh, I gotta do a couple more tests here to sort of uh, see how things are gonna end up working out uh, and then go from there so it's uh, bit by bit uh, step by step 
and um, this is, is part of the learning process. I've got my uh, my my computer on the internet. I've uh, done some tests on it. Everything work, works all right. So, in terms of internet, I've got internet internet up here now. That's good. It's uh, all done through 4G. I've got a 4G base. The backbone is 4G. So it's a, a good. Uh, it's a good network in terms of a comparison, the speed comparison, uh, in terms of what I'm happy with. It would be compared to like a T1 because it, basically I end up having uh, uh, basically five megabits per second down, and it oscillates between one and two megabits per second up. So uh, it's it actually um, a uh, a pretty good. Uh, oh, service. So uh, I can get the work that I need to get done. So uh, the only thing I don't do up here, that can't be done up here, and this is do the data caps. Uh, is I can't upload videos up here. I can uh, I can edit the videos here, but I can't upload them or anything like that. So the editing bays are strictly in in Toronto, and and a lot of the writing work can be, the reading writing work can be done here. All the the writing work can be done. The um, uh, the observational work for the. Uh, 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 the uh, uh, atmospheric physics project that can be done here and it is being done. I did the GPS work so that I know where I am in relationship to the map. Uh, and I'll be working about more more on that probably later on tonight around three o'clock in the morning. I'll probably get up around three and continue working on that. I have some vacuuming to do. Uh, most of the dishes are done. So you know, enough enough is done enough has been done that uh, I can be satisfied with the amount of progress that uh, has been produced up here so uh, yeah fatigue aside uh, progress has been made uh, progress is uh, still moving along and so I was happy with it this is something that I'm satisfied with the <laughs> camera battery, I can see it just going on down, which just went down another notch. So, it's, it, you know, but, it, you know, daily vlogging is still going on. Uh, I There was a couple days I had missed because there was just too much going on. But uh, other than that, uh, things are going well. So I could sort of say, you know, th this this trip has been a success. Move the, uh, uh, moved uh, ahead uh, or, or moved up a level. Uh, on to the next level now. So uh, this is we're well into October and we're well into the school year. For in terms of the uh, we talk about the middle school for life and of course because you have to have your play stuff. I'm working on uh, my nerd aspect of things and that's sort of the uh, my play area and that's uh, the Kawhi life. So I'm going to be bringing uh, Kawhi Tea House Kawhi Tea House TV. Uh, online, I'm working on developing that channel that will be added to the network. That will be our entertainment section of things, so we can sort of look forward to that. Or sort of, you know, if you're into kawaii, you're into uh, anime, this is something that will sort of come forward and uh, uh, deal with a lot of th that aspect of uh, the nerd life. So if you're into anime, cosplay, uh, role play, uh, that will all be handled there. In addition to some some minor serious stuff, a minor like I have a vlog called IMO vlog, which is basically uh, like an Oprah type of thing. That's but it's on uh, YouTube, and I'll be bringing that on to uh, Kawaii T House TV. Uh, I'm working on moving uh, Beauty and the Geek over to Kawaii T House TV. In addition to a show called The Kawaii Life. Uh, right now, uh, The Kawaii Life is being developed in the blogs. So that that's that's being developed. That includes uh, uh, games, uh, different things like teas. They have it's empty, but uh, I had uh, some milk tea in here. Uh, so these will be the things that will sort of be coming up. I was supposed to have dinner right now, which is the, I have uh, uh, a fried chicken uh, in, in the in the uh, oven. Uh, but I'm deciding I'm going to wait for it to cool down and just. Put it back in the fridge for another time because I'm just too tired. It's uh, it's, it's just it's about 7:30. My eyes are feeling droopy and I just want to go to bed. That's my body is saying sleep, 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 sleep. So, uh, where are we now? We're just about uh, uh, seven minutes. 
So I did, uh, it was, uh, it was 16 minutes, 16, almost 17 minutes, uh, for the first two segments, this is now, uh, so 16 minutes plus another seven. Uh, we're just about, uh, we're just at about 21 minutes so, so far. So there's, there's going to be another short vlog, <laughs> another, uh, the daily vlog, we made, we made our 20 minute mark. Uh, the goal is to do at least 24 minutes, but uh, even if we're short of that, it doesn't necessarily matter. But uh, <laughs> that's kind of the way things go. Things you, you aim for a rough, you aim for a rough uh, 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 point of landing. Not rather, it doesn't have to be exact. I and mean, that's the thing is, I'm never exact here, anyways. It's never. So, like, oh, scientists, man, you have to be exact. Well, not necessarily. If you're if you're doing if you're doing um, production science like if you, let's say you're working on a production line then yeah of course, well, yeah you have to be precise if you're producing something uh, if you're doing exploration then it's not about precision it's about the rough uh, estimates it's about drawing a a a, uh, a best effort or a best fit and so you're not looking at something specifically the way you would if you were doing something so called so called uh, quality control where you need, need need to make sure that a product is uh, 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 as close to being perfect as possible. Uh, that's one type of science, and there are or, or, or science sciences more along the lines of, of engineering. But if you're talking about uh, uh, exploration, exploration is rather open. There isn't the sort of the need to be exact. You just have to be good enough to un see. Okay, yeah, this is a new trend here, and then start increasing incrementally your knowledge about what you're dealing with so in other words uh if you're starting off and maybe 20 in, in your cons you're consistent about this uh you, you know understanding 25 percent every time you you go into something new uh well if you are if you if you're learning is like 25 percent over a period of time eventually you'll get to or at least close enough to 100 percent that uh, you, can, you can say within the limit that you have a good understanding of something so that's the way it is. This is, you know, this is how things work. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this here for now. I am. Uh, I said my eyes are drooping, and uh, I will see you probably around three o'clock in the morning uh, for our next uh, encounter. So, but that will be in uh, tomorrow's vlog. So, all right. See you then. Democratic Earth. Earth.